Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be creating a vertical bar chart in Excel using Office 365. In Excel, it's called column chart. For this video, I inserted the sales values in thousands of dollars and I left the year option empty because I want to enter it and show you some of the features in Excel that you can use. Let's assume that the first year was 2000. The second year is the next one, 2001, and the third one will be 2002, and so on. If you have a long list of values and the values are consecutive, you don't have to enter all of them. Excel gives you a feature that if you press and drag to highlight two cells together, not just one, and you move the cursor to the lower right corner, and you see that the cross changes from white to black, press and drag you can see that as you're dragging the values it shows you the values that are going to be entered 2003 4 etc once you release it fills in the table for you now this option works for any numbers that you're filling as long as they are consecutive in a way that excel will pick up the pattern they don't have to be one after the other. If I type two and four, then do the same thing. And Excel is going to pick that I'm adding only by two, and it's going to fill in the tables by these values. That's not our topic for today. So let me delete that and go back to our table. So similar to other videos, we're going to highlight the table first, the data. Go to the insert tab in the ribbon and we're going to choose the column now on purpose i selected both values and by that it gave me two sets of bars for the two series that we have here one for the year and one for the values or the sales now of course this graph doesn't look nice it doesn't look right and it looks not correct so this is what we're going to do we're going to follow this steps carefully let's click on the chart area right click and choose select data you will see that we have two values year and sales we're going to choose the first one and we're going to remove it because the year is not a data value it's the title or the axis so if I remove that and press OK you see that it changes the bar graph or the column graph from two things into one bar graph but we still have a problem that it's showing me here one two three four five six seven eight nine so instead of that what we're going to do is click on the category horizontal axis label we're going to click on edit that's why it's showing this one two three four and we're going to select the range Press OK, and you see that now the axis label, they're not 1, 2, 3 as they are picked by Excel, but the actual years that we have. Click OK, and we have our bar chart. If you're OK with the title here, sales in thousands of dollars, then we we'll leave it as it is. We can remove this axis title by going to over here or simply select it, press delete on your keyboard, and it's gone. If you want to remove the grid lines, go to grid lines and unselect 
and we don't have that anymore. And similar to the other videos, we can change at the data level to show you the values here on the top. You can change color, you can change the style. For this particular video, let's just go over here and select one of the predefined one. And we have the column chart. Let's take this chart and move it to sheet by itself and let's call it column chart if you want to change any of the appearances of this chart you can watch the other videos and repeat the same steps to change the color of the individual bars or add a border change the data labels add grid lines and so on thank you for watching and look for the other videos for more pie chart bar chart line chart and any other excel charts that you're going to see in my channel